Hello everybody, so today I'm joined by this little guy because he just did not want to leave me the fuck alone. Right, first comment. You look like a musketeer defeating his foe arrogantly. You know, as strangely specific as that comment is, I think I know exactly what you're talking about. You see, when I get really into a song, I start just flailing my body around while I play it and really get into the music and really feeling it. And I suppose that in this particular case, I've just done a sufficient amount of hair flips to look like an arrogant musketeer. That's probably one of my favorite comments ever. Alright, next comment is from Hubert Yuskoviak. Right, that was probably the most offensive Russian accent I could have ever done. <laughs> and he says, don't. Don't what? Don't pet the dog? Don't change the channel? Don't drink the wine? Don't go into the high grass? Don't what? I need answers! What happened to your right symbol? Right, so in my how to play drums like last Ulrich video, I'm holding up a right symbol with this huge chunk taken out of it. Um, I actually bought it like that. Um, I just bought like 10, 12 symbols in a huge package and some of them I sold on, some of them I'm actually using, some of them I might turn into like some scrap metal project, who knows. But yeah, it's probably had like a crack going into it and uh, the way you repair symbols is to just cut out that section of it. And one of my crashes that I regularly use in my setup actually had a crack. It's the first time I've ever cracked a symbol and I've played drums for over 10 years. But it got a crack and I've got it cut out. It lost a bit of volume and fullness, but it still sounds great. I'm still using it. And we've got these two guys enjoying the sound that I get from my 20 inch hi-hat. You know, I'm all for experimentation and all that kind of shit, so if you got a weird idea that you want to try out on the drums, like using crashes, splash cymbals as a hi-hat or whatever, um, go do it, because that's the way you innovate, that's the way you discover new things. Sounds like you slowed the track down a little. Nope, I didn't. Well, it probably sounds like it, because I usually tend to lower the pitch of the songs that I play drum covers of. And the reason I do this is that YouTube's content ID bullshit automated system occasionally just takes down videos left and right without any real reason. And the argument on their behalf is that it's copyright infringement where it's actually fair use when it's covers. Oh, it's sort of a gray area actually, but in, just to be safe to avoid it, I alter the pitch of the song so it won't automatically get taken down or banned in countries. Uh, like Germany always bans my shit. For some reason the Germans just fucking hate that. And sometimes uh, the songs will get banned from mobile devices for some reason. You can still watch them on a PC, which is kind of weird, but hey, it's not my shitty idea. Great cover. You should consider buying mics or triggers so it gets a full sound. But the problem is that I don't really know anything about recording and sound engineering, so I'll have to learn how to set up mics, I'll have to buy some mics and cables and preamp mixer and whatever you need, some software for it, and I'll need to learn how to mix music. And I just don't really feel like it. Like, I don't pride myself on quality content here in this channel. This is just something I do in my spare time because I think it's fun and if people like it the way it is, that's great. I might upgrade my setup at some point and learn some decent skills in recording and mixing, but it's not gonna be in the near future. You are so on point about Lars. No, he's not nearly the best drummer ever, he's not even the best drummer in Metallica, but you can't argue just how fucking important he is. Awesome list, man. I would love to have seen the rap on there though, but nice. Yeah, the thing about Lars Ulrich is that people seem to have this opinion where you are not allowed to have nuanced opinions on, well, pretty much anything on the internet, really. So people either hate Lars Ulrich or they love Lars Ulrich. And I'm kind of in the middle. I mean, I'm a big fan of Lars Ulrich, but I'm also able to make fun of him because I'm aware of the fact that he just fucks up on a daily basis. And that's completely fine. I mean, he doesn't really practice drums, so obviously he's not going to be that good anymore. I just think it's sad that you can't have a nuanced opinion, you can't like something and also make fun of it, because that makes people confused, they can't understand it in their little brains. Are you from Denmark? Yes. Yes I am. Fuck you, sick of hearing this shit. Oh jeez, did, did I offend someone? Did I hurt someone's feelings? Oh, sorry, but your tears are just so delicious. 
You do stroke for stroke covers or your own interpretation. Just curious. I do my own interpretations of pretty much anything. I usually listen to the song a couple of times and I get the idea of what the drummer originally plays and I sort of expand upon the idea and I bring in my own style to make it a bit more personal. Because I kind of feel like if I wanted to hear the drums like they're originally played, I'd put on the original track. That's just how I see it. Do a video, how to have success like Lars. Sure, he is lazy, but he plays in one of the biggest bands of our time. Enough said, rock on. You know, I actually have an old series here on this channel where I go about some of the business aspects of the music industry, and I've been thinking about kind of uh, revitalizing that series and doing some new episodes now that I've actually got my degree in marketing. Um, if you would like to get some tips and tricks on how to make it in the music industry using theories and models from Copenhagen Business School, which is where I got my degree, let me know in the comments. Beavis and Butthead. Dude, you, you, just, you just blew my mind. <laughs> this guy should have more subs. Well, if you think I should have more subs, tell your friends about me. If you've got any drummer friends who might enjoy my content, Spread the word. Siljan are now designing Lars Ulrich's signature China Ride just because of this video. Dude, that would be great, really. You know, I think Siljan already made these um, Swiss symbols. It's called, I don't know if they make them anymore, but it's relatively thick China symbols with rivets in them. And it's like, it's usually jazz drummers that play them. Uh, pretty cool. I've had a bunch of those at one point. Way too much talking. Alright, first of all, what did you expect? Secondly, in this video I talked for about 5 minutes. And if you can't concentrate on someone talking for 5 minutes, how are you ever going to accomplish anything in life? And that's pretty much it for this video. I really enjoy reading your comments and answering your questions, and I just thought that this would be a little bit more personal way to do it. Plus you get to see hi to this little guy. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching.